Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl Yamani Plus. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I am a, in a very creative space right now, as you can see from the title. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I'm making these boots. This is my first time doing an extensive DIY project to this magnitude. Um, so please bear with me if you see anything that looks unprofessional, because I ain't no professional. Per. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Um, as well as follow me on my Instagram and my TikToks. Hopefully, for this project, I'll be doing some type of reel or some type of TikTok to demonstrate what it looks like full body and full fashion mode, okay? So, go ahead and hit me up on my social media so if you want to see that, um, because this is going to be a very basic, straight to the point video. So, we have our fabric. I feel very catfished. If I insert a photo of what the fabric is supposed to look like, you will be mad too. So yes, it's supposed to be way lighter than this. As you know, Burberry pattern, um, it's not this dark, but we are gonna roll with it. It still looks good with my complexion. Um, and it still looks good. It still gives the vibe that I'm going for on my leg versus looking at it as, as just fabric. So um, this is the fabric. As you guys can see, this is a very beautiful shoe. I take nothing away from it, but it's just not my style. These shoes were given to me, so this was definitely a DIY, a DIY that was worth trying. Um, I do have a zipper along these booties um, that I have to work around. Hey, you guys. So I did notice that I forgot to add um, a list of things you're going to need for this DIY project. Um, you're going to need a sewing machine that offers both straight and zigzag patterns. Um, you're going to need an exacto knife, a hot glue gun, as well as some thin elastic for this project, as well as scissors and sewing pins. Okay, you guys, so for this specific project, I did not add my own personal measurements because if you're gonna recreate this, you're gonna have to take your own measurements. So I don't want you to be thrown off by my measurements, but I will provide you the formula as to how I got to my numbers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure around the circumference of your thigh, the top of your knee, and around the widest part of your calf. After you wrote down your circumference measurements, you're going to measure the distance between each of these measurements. So you're going to measure between your thigh to your top of your knee and from the top of your knee to your calf. And within those two measurements, you're going to add two inches to allow seam allowance for your ruching for your boot to remain the same length. Okay, you guys, so looking back on my footage, I do want to give you guys some pointers. You do want to flip, initially flip, your fabric inside out before you begin cutting or sewing listen to me because i made this mistake and you're about to see that in this very clip i did make the mistake of cutting the fabric right side facing me instead of inside out you want to do everything inside out so nothing moves out of place and everything remains the same and consistent guys so i have my first leg pre-cut i'm gonna go ahead and take my second half of my fabric and i'm going to cut the same amount um i'm gonna cut the same shape into the second half of the fabric just so i can have matching legs um and i will be back with you guys on film Okay guys, so I did have to go back in and edit the top of the booty once I tried it on. Um, it was just way too wide and bagging way too much. So I went in and I just trimmed off like an extra two inches. Um, and hopefully this will fit a lot better. I did look at it before I sewed it and I was like, this is too wide. But you know, you live and you learn. So I'm going to try it one more time, hopefully. You want to go ahead and um, try on the first leg before you feel like you're done and start gluing it to the shoe um, just to make sure your measurements are correct you know what I mean so if you have to you know make any adjustments you can um, so right now I am sewing 
I am stalling right now. And being that this fabric is really stretchy, you just want to make sure you're not stretching it while you're sewing. Um, you just want to let the machine do its job. Right? So I'm going to cut this off right here. And I'm just going to reinforce. I'm going to reinforce what, I sewn, what I've sewn already. Um, before I cut it. Oh, geez. All right, and I just want to go back and sew that again. And sew it again. Just to make sure I don't have any mishaps. All right, so I have that portion sewn off. So I'm going to cut it and try it on again. Y'all cannot tell me I ain't outdo myself with the rough, with, with the, with the leg part. Y'all cannot tell me I ain't outdo myself. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Oh my God, these are so cute. Now my friend came over and said they look like leggings. They really do, but I'm about to make them look more boot-like. I am going to, I just had to get my film real quick before I did it. Um, I already am done with the, the actual leg part of the thigh highs and these are real thigh highs bitch look what they almost hip thighs okay let's let's talk about it they almost hip high let's talk about it so um i am gonna do the cut on both sides up until this second layer right here the second row that's where i want the ruch in the beginning i want it to begin from high down to just above my ankle so like i said i'm gonna cut on the sides up until this point and then I'm gonna re sew them and I'm gonna do the elastic and I'll be back or whatever. But these are so freaking cute. Cute. So, as I'm editing, I'm seeing that I did not show or either a portion of my footage is missing because I know I definitely filmed this. I just don't know where it is. Um, it disappeared into thin air obviously but i did go ahead and i sewed a piece of the elastic all the way around the lining of the boot and then i flipped it down and sewed it again using a straight stitch so that's how i closed off the boot giving it some elastic at the top so that way it can hold better to my thigh and not fall down okay guys so i went ahead and i cut it in half um on both sides so it's literally you know this end seam and then you got two separate panels i'm gonna take this i'm gonna sew it inside out um and then add the elastic so it can ruche um and i'll show you what that looks like once i'm finished with the first leg So you guys, in order to ruche the sides as I'm doing right here in this clip, you want to pull the elastic. Now you don't want to pull too tight because it will ruche too much and you don't want to pull too little because it won't ruche enough. So it's very important that you find the right tension um, in doing this project. Um, also be careful that the other side of the boot is not being sewn as you notice in this clip the material is gathering around the sewing machine and i'm just stopping periodically just to make sure that i'm not sewing the other side of my fabric that's it that's all So my first one is done. Just the leg part anyway. Done, the ruching is cute. I like it. I'm gonna do it to the other leg. And then um, 
I'm gonna get started on the boot part, which I feel like is probably gonna be the most tedious. Maybe not, because this, this took a while. Whew. Anyway, let's get back to it. What is up, you guys? This DIY project just got too real for me. And I just, literally, this is my skin that I just burnt off with hot glue. Yeah, I'm pissed right now. I look a mess, don't care. Um, I'm literally gluing on my second boot. The first one is done. She's complete, she's beautiful. Um, I'm really proud of myself for this to be such an extensive first like really extensive DIY project, but I'm pissed that I burned myself to this, this degree. Like I really am. I literally have a circle because I leaned over to get something and I accidentally put my arm on hot glue that was already on the boot. And it's literally a circle. Like it burns so bad right now. So I just had to clean it and put um, Vaseline on it just to, I'll put some a and on it later. Later, Right now, I just wanna get this poop finished. Um, at the moment, I already have completed the back of the second boot, and I'm working on the toe box right now. As you can see, a bunch of fabric just hanging. Um, I'm doing a toe box first, and then I have a bigger piece of fabric that I'm gonna wrap around the rest of the shoe. And being that it's um, stretchy fabric, it, it, it's really easy. So you just glue, stre um, stretch and pull, um, for the front of this boot, I changed the I changed the way I made this shoe, right? So in the front of this boot, as you can see, there's some ruching. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do that as well because I just feel like this shoe, this boot before, it naturally has like the same thing. And I wanted to kind of follow the contour of the boot, especially because this is not solid and it's not, you know, it's really flimsy. So I didn't want to glue anything to this and it took the shape of this and this is the main part of the shoe I did not like. So I felt like being that I put elastic in the front and I ruched the front, it kind of mocked the shoe that's underneath it but concealed it and made it look so much better. Um, it doesn't look as good um, right here but I will show you guys on my feet. They are so freaking dope. I'm about to burn myself again. They are so freaking dope and I cannot wait until this, I show you guys the finished product. Um, this work is really tedious. So to record it all, this video will be really long. So I'm sorry. Um, if y'all want in depth, please let me know. I'll probably try to do this project again for somebody else. Cause this is just too much work to be doing for free, honey. I need to be doing this for, to get paid. Okay. Um, and to be getting burnt and stuff like, come on. So let me finish this second boot and I will be back on film with y'all. I might film periodically while I'm gluing so y'all can see what I'm doing. But this is just a lot of work that I didn't think I was going to be putting in. Okay? I'm going to be transparent with y'all. They act like these DIYs be so fucking easy and they really don't. Okay? So let me finish <laughs> and I will be back on film. Alright y'all, tapping back in. So after I did the toe box, I went in and I folded over like I tried to keep the pattern consistent. I went in and I did my um, ruching. After I did my ruching, I glued it up the middle and then I'm taking the fabric and gluing it along the sides, like I said. Um, and then as I go along, I'm going with my end with my exacto knife. So as I go along and I'm, as I'm stretching the fabric before I get to the next point where I feel like the fabric is giving too much, I go in with the exacto knife and I cut off the excess. So that's the best tip I can give y'all and advice I can give y'all as far as doing this at home on your own. Is you glue, you cut, you so the fabric gives you more give, you glue, you cut, you glue, you cut. That's the way it's working for me. And so far it's working pretty good. Like I said, I did I glued the toe box, so I did the uh, around the toe box first. Then I went ahead, I lined up the fabric, I glued this fabric here after I did the ruching in the middle. And once I glued it across the toe, that's the end of the toe box, I glued it up the middle and I'm stretching the fabric across the rest of the boot. And I'm making sure I'm cutting by the zipper, folding over and gluing. Period, point blank, that's literally what I'm doing. I just didn't have the resource to show that to you guys. Um, I am filming on my phone. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, yeah. Let me keep working because I got food to make. It is Thanksgiving and I have, I'm, I just added another meal that I'm making, another dish. So yeah, 
I gotta get going. Um, but let me get this done and I will be back with you guys. Okay, you guys, so thank you so very much for tuning into this video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.